Good morning. Shares were falling around the world on Federal Reserve tapering fears, and it looked like the U.S. stocks were also headed that way. But then earnings from companies related to the housing recovery had strong numbers, and that seemed to turn things around. Even headline grabbing J.C. Penny while it had a crummy quarter, the stock is moving higher based on improving sequential sales. Home Depot was up 3.3% at $77 and change in trading before the market opened. Net earnings rose to $1.8 billion or $1.24 a share in the second quarter. That's up from $1.53 billion or $1.01 cents a share. Analysts were expecting $1.21. Sales rose 9.5% to $22.5 billion, and housing has rebounded in those markets and other states where Home Depot has a heavy presence, states like Arizona and Nevada. In May, Home Depot said its sales to contractors and professional customers increased faster than those to individual homeowners and other shoppers, and that's the first time that's happened since 2008. Also, for the year, the company raised its earnings forecast to $3.60 a share. That's up from $3.52. It also said they expected a sales rise of about 4.5%. That's up from previous expectations of 2.8%. So all good over at Home Depot. Best Buy shares popping over 12% this morning after reporting a higher quarterly profit on Tuesday as lower costs offset lackluster sales at the consumer electronics chain. Net earnings rose to 266 million or 70 cents a share. That's up from $12 million or four cents a share a year ago, excluding special items. They actually earned 69 cents a share. Now, before you get too excited, Best Buy US sales were only marginally better with online actually weaker. However, Margin pain was a lot lower than expected, and appliance sales was its strongest category, up 14%. Well, the market is turning off the lights on Light in the Box. That's a Chinese e-commerce company. Now, this was a high-flying IPO, and it's plunging almost 40% this morning after reporting second quarter revenue that missed expectations. The Beijing-based company, which for the most part sells China sourced goods to customers outside China, said it earned $0.10 cents a share in the second quarter. That's better than the loss of $0.08 cents a share a year ago, and it actually beat expectations for earnings. However, the stock has run up very high, and it was poised for perfection, so when it didn't hit on the revenue side, well, it sold off heavily. That's what's happening before the opening bell. I'm Deborah Borchardt. Good luck trading.